I work at two very large treatment centers for multiple sclerosis, uh, the Royal Melbourne Hospital and also the Box Hill Hospital, both here in, in Melbourne in Victoria. The work that I'm very heavily involved with is to understand how good monitoring of people with MS uh, over time can lead to better outcomes. So we can show, for example, that if you're on a particular treatment and you're having a, a relapse with MS, if you then, you and your clinician, then decide to change treatment to A or B, well, what, what, what's the outcome of that? Which one of those is better? And I think we will advance this idea of personalized monitoring much more. We monitor more than 36,000 people in more than 20 countries, 110 clinics to really uh, understand the dynamics of how well the treatment is working and when you should change it. One of the uh, huge strengths of Australian MS research over several decades now has been the collation of large, sometimes population-based or large cohort studies in MS. And they've been really internationally very, very significant. Um, many of them funded by uh, MS Research Australia in part or in whole. Another project very heavily um, funded by MS Research Australia is called the Prevent Study. So this is taking people who have their first ever symptoms of MS all over Australia and New Zealand and soon also in Ireland and actually randomly assign them to different doses of vitamin D to see if and which dose has the best effect at protecting people from any ongoing new inflammation, new MS disease occurring. The MS Research Australia team, outside of that core funding, also provide a huge amount of support for the study, teleconferences, their steering committees, their safety monitoring boards, there's individual sites that need to be selected. Um, so it's a, it's a huge endeavor. And that is an investment which is going to very directly result in knowledge that's going to be important all across the world. You want your money to be well spent. You want your administration to be appropriate, but your administration costs to be low. You want your processes for distributing funding to be competitive, and you want it to be a game changer. Now, sometimes MS Research Australia can achieve that by itself, but what it's also very good at is to, is to transform an initial idea into a preliminary data, early research, which is then becomes attractive to the major funding organizations of, of the world. Um, Australia, through that pathway, has had a very good track record, not only with National Health and Medical Research Council funding, which might be a half a million or a million dollars, but also internationally. So Australians are actually quite successful at getting money out of the National MS Society of the United States, which proportionally being bigger, you know, is able to afford slightly bigger grants. You want your organization to be effective, and you wanted to fund the sort of research which creates leverage for more funding and more, and more research. And MS Research Australia has been incredibly effective at doing that. Uh, to fulfill that vision, there's probably no better way than spending money through MS Research Australia if you want to make a difference.